everyone welcome to good morning sri lanka on a brand new monday morning it's great to have all of you joining us at the beginning of another brand new week and of course the year is just flying by and we've come towards we're going towards the middle of july as well i don't know where the time is going but of course these days there is a fever that has hit the entire globe and this happens every four years or so and i think all of you know exactly what i'm speaking about i'm speaking about the fifa world cup of course and football is the hot topic these days for anyone and even though even though people have they may not have been a fan for a long time and they may not know all the players they still watch the matches because it's just the atmosphere that the world cup brings it really can't be matched by anything else and of course this world cup i think has been particularly dramatic so far and we've seen a lot of upsets happening and of course the final game happened just early this morning and i think we have to leave the final game uh, for another sh a special show on that because that's a match that has to be analyzed and broken down as well that there is a lot that happened leading up to the final game from the group stages itself and we have with us the two very nice gentlemen on the show who are here to speak about uh, some of these some of uh, some of the technical aspects of the things that happened during this year's football world cup and also give you an overview of the work that fifa is doing in general as well as an overview of football here in sri lanka so again we are dealing with a very hot topic here and we have two gentlemen here on the show to do that for us so i have here with me just on my right rukmal pereira he is the good morning rukmal morning to you and of course you are the fifa media instructor and you've been working with fifa for quite some time now and he is also the director of media and marketing at the football federation of sri lanka so i think we have the perfect man uh, to speak to us hope. about uh, our topic today and of course he's sure. brought along a national player now he is a player who has played for the national team from under 13 uh, to under 21 and he's represented sri lanka in the capacity of a football player and of course he is a past pupil of st joseph's college and he's here with us on the show to this morning as well sanjula tilan good, good morning sanjula good morning to you great to have you on the show okay yeah. so i heard that you're doing your a levels in a yeah, little while though <laughs> but i'm happy to see that you're still in touch with the game <laughs> yeah of course yes. so rukwa now as i mentioned earlier it's been a very dramatic world cup has sure. it it yeah because uh, uh, thanks uh, for the opportunity to discuss with uh, different forum today i think your, your forum is a little different yes. to what i have been speaking <laughs> to the last month and this is the fifa fever and that's the fever is uh, not cannot uh, taken very lightly which has a value of over it's if you talk on terms of uh, money okay the awards will go up to 500 million us dollars as we start having one and the winner will take home 35 million us dollars mm -hmm. and that is about 5 billion of our rupees you know <laughs> so it's what they have all will take talking. home the glory yeah. as well right the winner, like abba said the winner can take them all <laughs> yeah. and uh, this uh, world cup uh, scenario is <coughs> generally is a once in 4 years as you said correctly mm -hmm. and you get uh, 209 countries playing football in the globe and okay. we are proud and humbly says we are the number one sport in on earth mm -hmm. and fifa world cup is supposed to be the most the single sports event on earth wow. it's most popular and colorful of so uh, just uh, to give you a little brief uh, on what the fifa world cup and why it is there and you see uh, already uh, there are 209 countries starts before 3 years in preparation mm -hmm. including sri lanka so in 2011 we started the whole whole tournament in the globe and from asia we had four teams qualifying for the final they don't okay. say it's a final round they say fifa world cup final Finals. so in so the final you want to make have 32 teams 32 right? teams have come mm -hmm. out of which 30 now from europe <coughs> okay and four from asia that is i must mention asia is a part of us uh, asia is korea japan australia is a part of asia not mm -hmm. oceania in the football world okay and iran oh yeah so yes. uh, these are the four teams that qualify mm -hmm. and from oceania the 11 pacific islands uh, they could not qualify because they had to play a pay off with latin america mm -hmm. and as you said you say latin america or you say south america this where the religion of football <laughs> you get and, and you see uh, this time uh, they managed to come into finals with argentina 
coming into finals after 24 long years. That's very true and I think we see <coughs> the passion for the game in mm. all the Latin American people when we watch the game from yes, our TV screen you can experience definitely. that. Definitely, you could have seen mm -hmm. the, the weeping, the passion, <laughs> the crying, the shouts, sounds and tempo and that's what is called the, uh, the game of the Latin America, South America. I would have seen the teams that perform in the Latin American sector is quite different to others. The style of playing is like the ballet, you know, <laughs> and and and, yes, and, food, yes, yes. and the Brazil plays samba football, like <laughs> a baila in Sri Lanka. So it's a different game application altogether. Mm -hmm. We not lose. Be there is also something very special. It's very true. And and other thing is, if I'm to go back a little history of the World Cup, mm -hmm. if permit of me. course that's very interesting. In 2002, you had the Brazilian winning the World Cup. Okay. Under Roberto Carlos, and they had a whole heap of best players in the world: Adriano, Kaka, Rob Roberto Carlos. Then they had the Ronaldinho, Ronaldi Ronaldo, and all this. Then in 2006, the four finalists, semi-finalists, and the finalists all over Europe. The Europeans started dominating in the world of football, which is quite uh, impactful for Europe. And you see, the the winner was Italy, mm -hmm. and the runner-up was uh, France. You can remember, if you know a little bit of history, the headbutt incident where Sidane was sent off. Yes, and the I France, do remember that. I was on the pitch, so I, I will never <laughs> forget that incident. Oh uh, my god! I gosh. was working for FIFA on that particular match, on the finals. <laughs> and then, then the, the third place went to the host, Germany. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth went to Portugal. In contrast to that, in 2010, where we had the Waka Waka World Cup, <laughs> you'll never forget it, South Africa. <laughs> the drumming yes, oh my and, and, and the sounds mm -hmm. created by the horns and South Africa saw two Europeans coming into finals okay that is the Holland and Spain mm -hmm. yes. and the Spain won in handsomely and leaving Holland or Netherlands I'm sorry the Holland was the older version eh? and they became the runner so this year's is, is uh, I'm just in a countdown of it mm -hmm. as you correctly said the South Americans were in, in, in giving them a run everywhere but later on, the final is the, the final was Latin America versus the Europe, yes. Argentina versus Germany. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really that's more than we can ask for. I mean, the final was uh, superb. But of course, we leave the match analysis of the final that's right. for a different show because I think there has been a lot of lot happening in the group stages as yeah. well. Now, Sancho, I'm sure you've been following yeah. the World Cup from the get go. So, what has been your favorite moment somewhere in the group stages, let's say? Yeah, from the view of mine, uh, this this was the best World Cup ever. It was really thrilling, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for, since '98, I was supporting Brazil. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so see, Facebook is full of Brazil. <laughs> Brazil yeah. Really? Yeah. And since '98, what were you like? Three just or four, four years. years I just can't remember the final. <laughs> wow. Um, Brazil was playing against France, I guess, it mm -hmm. was 3-1, yeah. so Brazil lost, right? So, uh, so since that I was supporting Brazil, uh, still it's the same, uh, th that was a sad moment actually, oh, yes. <laughs> that so was a disaster actually. <laughs> uh, so this this is the best World Cup I have a witness so far. <laughs> of course, and we ha I think we have to speak about that match that happened uh, between Brazil and Germany. I, I was watching it live actually, right. and I just Start couldn't believe it. <laughs> I, know, I felt so sorry for them. I just wanted the torch to win because that happened in the first 20 or 25 minutes of the game, and they had to play the rest of the game as well. That's yeah. right. They all started at 11th minute, mm -hmm. and of course uh, the the. German scored 1-0, stunning the entire 61,000 Brazilian fans in the stadium out of 80,000. But then uh, the Brazilian had a chance to equalize it, if I no. remember, but they could not take the opportunity out. Mm -hmm. The entire disaster or calamity, you call it for Brazil, it's more than a calamity, it's a tsunami, <laughs> I must say. Oh, tsunami I think in waiting. the last 100 years, they have not yeah. experienced it's something It's a tsunami like for that. them, honestly. Yeah. Every aspect of the game, their life, their blood, their religion is basically football and within a matter of six minutes you can see eight minutes you can see that four goals I couldn't believe my eyes honestly <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking something radically wrong with me <laughs> <laughs> I know like some, and, that, so that we lose. some tampering <laughs> with the TV screen yes so after that actually uh, if you analyze technically uh, I went through a couple of uh, world-class uh, well, one of the biggest analyses of the game, mm -hmm. technical study group of FIFA, mm -hmm. headed by so much of technical ideas. The basic was the Theo Silva, 
the Brazilian captain, he, he was not there. He is responsible as far as I am concerned because you, if you are a captain, when you are playing in the World Cup level match, in a quarter-final stage, he unnecessarily gave the yellow. Mm. Unnecessarily. If it was a tackle on the move, which should have been avoided a goal, okay, you can pardon him. He just went in for a player and he got the, considered yellow. And the double yellow cards, I think for the ladies who doesn't know the application <laughs> game, if you get and two even yellows, some of the gents, actually, <laughs> I know a few people who had no idea about this rule. If you get two yellow cards, mm -hmm. it matters continuously, you get a red. That means oh, you are... Right. You're suspended. The term is suspended of playing the next match. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, the Brazilian captain, Thiago Silva, the man who act like a wall, yeah. the, the man who is the playmaker, it is not the playmaker in, in the middle. Mm. You have to protect yourself. Yeah, he yes. the best defender. He was the soul of the team, actually. Yes, right. Oh. Though the names are not there because he never scored, mm -hmm. but he the man. And you could have seen the captain. Mm -hmm. He is a real captain. He used to get the players to play in their positions. He plays his position and he has a fantastic interaction with the goalkeeper. See, ah. sir. So, mm -hmm. if he was not there, unfortunately for Philip Scolari, the man who bought the World Cup in 2002 to Brazil mm -hmm. had a little bit of, uh, he had to make a small gamble in it. The boy he represented. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he, Bernard. He, uh, number one is Bernard represented Neymar. Yes. Uh, of course, substituted. Mm -hmm. but yeah, the main turning point was that the absence of Neymar and Thiago Silva, Silva to that disaster. And I think we <laughs> have a lot to speak about that because there was an injury involved there. Yeah. Well. So we'll touch on those things. I'm, unfortunately, we have to go for a short break. Sure, sure. So we'll go for a very short break, but stay with us. I'm sure that you want to hear this analysis as well. What happened during that uh, Brazil and Germany game? Stay with us. We'll be right back on Good Morning Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm.